Hey guys, and welcome to Tasmanian TV. Today's video is a sad one. I'm really sad and really fucking angry and upset because I have to remove my cheek piercings. Now, I really don't want to do this. I absolutely love, love, love my cheek piercings. See the dimples and oh, I love them so much. But they never fucking heal and I'm so sick and tired of walking around with an open, oozing wound on my face on each side every single day. They're just, it's so gross and I just, I've given it like 20 months or something and if they haven't healed now, they're never gonna fucking heal. So I just have to make a grown up decision about it and take them out. But I'm really sad about it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna feel so naked. It's gonna be really weird. Um, my hope is that they'll heal well and that I will have a nice little fake dimple left. Um, most people get that when they remove their cheek piercings. Some people um, get them for life and some people have them for like a while when they're healing and then they go away. I hope that mine stay because I really like having dimples. So I'm pretty fucking pissed off, you know? But I knew this going in. I knew that cheek piercings are the most difficult piercings to heal um, on your body. So I knew that it was going to be a struggle, but it's still like, no, nah, that's not going to happen to me. Mine are going to heal fine. Yeah, they didn't. Um, so I'm gonna remove them now and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. They just never healed. Um, it's like one of them looks fine at a time, but then the other one's all grossed and pussy and, or, or they're both gross. And it's on my face, like people can see them and it's so gross. And I, I'm a makeup artist, I work like this close to people's faces. It's gonna be pretty gross to have somebody standing there like, ugh, with something oozing from their cheek. So that means that some of the Halloween videos that are pre-recorded, you're gonna see um, the cheek piercings. Um, that does not mean that I put them back in, it's just that I recorded them ahead. Um, but for most of the Halloween videos, yeah, they're gonna be out. And then from now on, no more cheek piercings. Let's get these bad boys out. So to do this, I've obviously cleaned my hands properly and I've got some Q-tips so I can clean the area um, afterwards. And I've got some saline solution to help me with that. And I've got my trusty little tongs to help me get them out. So let's get started. You're all up in my face now, aren't you? All right, so right now, this one, the left one is the one that's the grossest. I don't know if you can see this. The other one just has a little bubble, but they're constantly giving me grief. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of them now. All right, they're gone. Ugh, so gross. Pus, ew. Gonna clean them good and proper so that when the hole closes, it doesn't close anything gross in and like leave it inside my cheek. So here you can really see like how gross they are. So gross. Okay, so just to clarify to anyone who's curious, um, as you can see, when I smile, now that the bars are out, I still have the dimples. So the dimples don't come from the bars. It's not because you have the bars in that you get the dimples. The dimples are caused because when they pierce your cheek, they sort of ruin the muscles. So that's why some people actually never get this properly healed. You, um, and some people just get the nice little fake dimple for life, which is what I'm hoping for. All right, they're out now. Feels weird. Feels really fucking weird. So I'm gonna try to focus on the positive here. Every time I see people with cheek piercings, I'm gonna be like, I miss my cheek piercings. <laughs> but um, I have to focus on the positive. The positive is gonna be that I'm not gonna have stupid oozing, open, gross wounds, and on my face all day long, which is a good thing. Um, and another good thing is that they kind of do get in the way. Um, I sleep on the side most of the time and it means that they're sort of squished against the pillow, which is not very comfortable. They sometimes get stuck in my scarf. Sometimes I bite on them. 
Another positive is that I'm actually going to be able to put foundation all over my face now. Yay! So I'm going to focus, focus on the positive and just try to, you know, be happy. Hope I still get to have a cool little pimples. That'd be awesome. And, you know, start to think about new places that I can get pierced. <laughs> it's a sad day. I'm a little sad now. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any more questions about cheek piercings um, or my decision to remove mine, it's okay to ask me. Um, and yeah. Still counting down to Halloween videos, so I think I'm gonna post one more regular video before Halloween season really kicks off. So stay tuned for that. Take care of yourselves. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!